as long as you know your heart's in the right place, you're doing the best that you can. You, know, you, don't, you don't need to prove yourself on Twitter every fucking day. And obviously, I'm referencing the extremes, these like woke internet warriors or whatever you want to call them, these fucking losers who spend their whole life trying to cancel people on the internet. That shit pisses me off so much because they're, they're, ruining, they're ruining a good agenda. Cancel culture is not necessarily a bad thing. I, I get what they're trying to do is eradicate negativity in the world and get rid of some bad toxic shit, and we do need that. But a lot of that gets lost in translation when they carry it out because they themselves are such bitches, dog. Oh my God, bro. And that drives me insane because I'm, I'm on their side. I hate the same shit they hate. Off the top of my mind, I can think of... Um, Homophobia. Homophobia is a massive pet peeve of mine because it doesn't fucking affect you. Who somebody else loves has nothing to do with you. And, and it is always the ugliest fucking dude who's the most homophobic, isn't it? The most toothless motherfucker from Corpus Christi. To, to be to be on some I'm, <laughs> I'm not with that gay shit they're not with you either bro have you met a gay guy they're handsome they're in good shape they can fuck your girl so fast okay be thankful they took a competitor off the board I hate it so much but there's such a pain in the ass and as, as you can imagine you all have the internet it makes our job incredibly difficult nope, nobody's allowed to joke about anything anymore everyone wants to complain about every joke ever told that's so frustrating because I mean oh, you guys have been here the whole show you know I have a pretty fucked up sense of humor like I, I, I love dark shit like the darker the better to me I love that so much uh, 